way out they go. And Crisp had just hit the century mark. A nine-point lead for the Redmondizers, defending champions of the old Filipino. Robinson turning around. Hagen towering in that rebound. Hagen working his way on the baseline. He's double teamed. Fabiosa. Shot deflected. He gets it right back. Six seconds left in the shot clock. Gidabin goes for the basket. A rejection by Vicente, but not complete. Foul, Vicente. Nicky Cosentin seems to be a little alarmed about the developments. Yeah, she felt that was a bluff, you know, together with the crowd. Well, she protested in a very ladylike fashion. 102 to 91, 11 point lead for Crispo with 6.33 left in the game clock. Mariwasa is now in team foul trouble. Sling what the strings. Vicente making it 102 to 93. Those shots are keeping Mariwasa in the game. Hagen to Fabiosa. Oh. Firing on a screen by Fabiosa. Three point shot by Atreco. Very good scoring night for Ata. I think 28 points for him so far. Ata going to town on a scoring pinch. 105 to 93. It doesn't point lead for the Redmondizers. And we have a foul on the return play. Uh, Abit Kidabin, that's five for him. And one more. Yes, the Lupin is going to pull him out with Freddy Ubaldi. Opportunity for Marevosa at this point to try to catch up because Gidabin has been playing very well. He's been controlling the boards. Chance for them to come back. Oh, taking the ball out of Robinson's hands like taking candy from a baby, but that was an unproductive layup. But if he does, has it. Time left, 542. Robinson, inside pass. Martinez, yes. 105 to 95. 10 point lead. Big advantage for the Redmondizers. Atoy was almost sure it was going to go away. He was already headed for Hagen to Ovalde. He's confronted by Robinson. Gives it back to Hagen. Back to Ovalde. It was a case of you do it. No, you do it. Here's Torrente. Oh, they're missing badly with their outside shots now. Both squads. Hagen. Look at him pass that ball with just a flick of the wrist. Pinpoint accuracy. 107 to 95, 12 point lead. Time down to 4.52. Torrente has the ball stolen from his hands by Hagen. Foul, oh, Hagen. Hagen reacts to the foul with a big, big grin on his face. Fabiosa is going to be replaced by Rudy Distrito, a guy seldom used. I, as a matter of fact, this is only the second time I've seen him play. But then I haven't been covering all the games, so I can't be too sure about that. Let's take a look at the foul trouble. Uh, the individuals in foul trouble, that is, Vicente is five, Suliano five, along with Villamin. He dub in four, that he done four. Distrito. Yes, sir. Rex, this is a 14-point lead. And again, I'm really surprised that Benji Poblet is sitting on the bench again. After having 28 points, he was taken out and rested and was never placed back into the ball game. Well, I guess we can never fathom the strategies being cooked up by a coach. I'm sure Cody Diego has a reason for it. The thing is, we cannot define what it is right now. And that's this trito scoring his second consecutive basket, much to the delight of the predominantly crisp fanatic crowd here at the Aranetta Coliseum. Time down to 359 to score 111 to 95. That's a 16 point lead. That's going to be awfully hard to over all, especially after an error like that on the part of Martinez. have gone against the red, uh, the black shirts in this fourth quarter. They're in deep foul trouble. Here's Atoiko. Yes. Oh, three point. Like three-point shot for Atoy in the ball game. Looks like Atoiko has decided this is going to be my night. Vicente could not do the same. Bounce pass by 
Phillips to Valdez. Phillips right behind him. 116 to 95. They just blew the ball game wide open in the space of three or four minutes. Yes, with three minutes and 13 seconds to go, looks like it's time to scrub the Coliseum floor. Lomo sequence, and you'll find out why Philip Cesar was MVP a couple of years back and is always a strong contender for it. Look at that. He passed the ball to Fabiosa, who missed, but he was right there. And look at him stretching out and getting the pocket. 116 to 95. That was an unproductive play by Mariwasa. So Crispa is on the offensive once again. Here's Atoiko Upalde. Distrito, they're feeding Distrito now. They want Distrito to go home with glory. Atoy. Another three-point shot by Atoy. Third three-pointer by Atoy. He has close to four points, June. How many points is he have? 36 to be exact. Still red hot. I can feel the heat from him every time he passes by. Here's Freddy Ubalde. Distrito gets the feed and gets a shot. Six points also for Distrito. Well, with the game safely tucked in their belts, the Crisper Redmanizers are now just having fun. It just really shows how powerful this team is. You have a reserve like Distrito coming in and he has six points in the ball game. Now everybody's getting into the act, including Freddy Ubalde. Right. The, I and whatever uh, happened to Benji Poplete, yeah, I can't really understand that. Uh, I think it's a case of uh, amnesia on the part of the coach. <laughs> One of these last two minutes is brought to you by Hubbard Chicken. I didn't suffer from amnesia that time. Uh, yeah.